What's up everybody, welcome to this video. I want to start with, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and if you don't agree on anything, please let me know in the comments below, but let's get right into it. So you can see right there everything that I tested. So what is this all about? So uh, I just started playing Space Engineers and Apparently, there's a lots of testing um, involved in the process of this game and I wanted to create the perfect wind turbine park and I googled a lot, I watched a lot of videos, I watched lots of reddit and stuff like this, but apparently either nobody knows everything or either nobody wants to tell everything because somehow you just always find half of um, the truth or just the height, how high the wind turbines have to be, how far they have to be apart and, and I didn't find the perfect wind turbine park yet, at least in the internet. And this is why I tried to find a scientific approach on what the, the perfect setup for your wind turbines is. So I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, so let's get right into it. So what I did here, I first thought, okay, so what should be the perfect outcome um, from the wind turbine? And this is right here. I just placed it a very uh, a wind turbine very high. And uh, then let's see really quick um, uh, when we get into the control panel right here. This is uh, the wind turbine test and it says at the moment, of course, it varies a bit. Uh, depending on the um, oxygen um, that is currently there and the wind that is um, on your planet and so it varies a little bit I don't know why it's going um, up that far at the moment but we just need this um, as a um, value to compare our other results later so um, first what I was thinking is um, okay, there has to be a specific height where the wind turbines have to be um, So I just place them way above the ground so they shouldn't be um, interfering with the ground at all because Like most of the people said like eight blocks above the ground I guess so I just did like 20 I guess I don't know really but it should be enough and then I was testing how far should they be apart. So these are or these ones are two blocks apart. You can see it right here. One, two. These are three blocks apart. We are always testing the middle two ones. So the lower values of the respective turbines. This is four um, blocks apart and you can see where this is going. So five, six, seven, eight and those are nine blocks apart. And let's just um, see right uh, there um, really quick. Let me just uh, switch the weather to clear. So let's see where our wind turbine is at the moment or test turbine 4 to 4.85 kilowatt um, <clears throat> per hour, I guess. I don't I'm not for sure, but um, let's see. So these are the turbines with um, a distance of two. So apparently this is probably those are the middle ones I guess those two um, but doesn't matter we, oh, oh I did five okay so this is the middle one probably but um, you can see it's getting better here so um, yeah, these wind turbines are even better. Then let's see, D4 is even getting better. Um, so with a distance of 4, 5 is also still getting better. So um, 5 is apparently better than 4. Here you can see it perfectly. 397, 397 for the outer ones and 370 for the inner ones. And D6 is still getting better. 389 for the inner ones. That's what we are looking for. E7 is here, 408 for the inner ones. Um, here, you can see it right there. <clears throat> here, D8. This is where it kind of seems like that the inner ones are equal to the outer ones, or to four, and this stays here the same with 
a distance of 9. So, what we can see here, a distance of 8 blocks between the ground where the turbine stands on. So, let me show you this really quick. So, you have here this, um, the block where the turbine stands on, and then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then again the block where the turbine stands on. So you have to have eight blocks in between the turbines. And then when you go further apart, it just reduces your effic effectiveness. So eight blocks distance. So what we want I wanted to see next is how high you have to build it. So let's get right into this here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks between each turbine and of course you can see they are getting higher so this one here is uh, the basic block um, above the ground and then one high so um, I just called it um, height 1 H01 it has 230 kilowatt it's getting higher at height of 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight and you can see here at the a, a height of eight blocks above the um, bottom block doesn't get higher so you can see that the last three ones are um, equal it, it's not getting higher so when you want to build your wind park um, this is the height 10 this is height 9 and here you can see this is Perfectly fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then build your turbine on top of it. So what I was then thinking: so if 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 you build it like on top here, then you probably couldn't build anything around it. So if you build one block here, does it interfere? with the turbine at all so how, how does this work out so i tested this right here um so i just built um blocks at the bottom of the turbine um, you can see it right here um, and i was looking if it interfered with the turbine at all and as you can see here, um, let me really quick see where it is. It is here, interference one. Um, apparently, either I just build it too low. I probably just build it too low. Um, but it shouldn't interfere um, what you can see, um, what you can probably see in the next um, few testings that I did. <clears throat> so either interferes just a little bit or not at all um, but apparently wind turbines at this position don't interfere with the other wind turbine so what i did here those are the next two ones you can see they are at the perfect um output um right there those are these two ones they are placed right there so I was watching the hitbox of the turbine, I put it 8 blocks above um, the ground, so you have to um, put the bottom block, then this is the 8th eighth, eighth block, and usually you would put the wind turbine right on top of here, but you have to put one, two more blocks up there, and then put the wind turbine right here, because uh, then the hitbox, as you can see, and um, right above the eighth block and this means that the wind turbine is perfectly fine and creating as much output as possible then i was thinking if it doesn't um, <clears throat> interfere with blocks placed here or with wind turbines block uh, with wind turbines placed below the wind turbine does it um, interfere with um, blocks just placed beside it because you can see here the hitbox of the wind turbine or the, the box should in theory interfere with the wind uh, input here you can, I don't know if you can see it but it is straight besides this wind turbine here I tested it 
we can just watch it um let me see we are right here this is interference three and you can see those are the two side ones this is the top one they are perfectly fine so apparently this works out as well and then i was thinking yeah so basically you can make a wind park um i was just checking if the corners could be like this as well so you can make the corners um like this um let me show you this works as well this is interference four um right here interference for sideways and top this also works perfectly and then i was thinking but wait a minute if you have to <clears throat> put your blocks right there this is kind of a waste of wind turbines because you if i expand my arc right there um, i can't place a wind turbine here or here so i was thinking what if you make make your wind park the structure at the bottom or i don't know you can make it um in the air as you want but then you have to just make columns in the air and then place your wind turbines just like this sorry for this so just place your wind turbines like this and i was wondering if this would work because this is like you can expand it as far as you want every wind turbine looks the same and you should have five turbines working at the perfect um, energy output so you can either put this um, at the ground if you have the place or just above your base just make a grid like this uh, with eight blocks between the corners and then uh, let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten blocks 11 blocks high then you put the blocks for the wind turbines um, to the side and then one above and then the wind turbine on top probably you can also um, put the wind turbine just there i don't know Let, let's just test it um, let's just test it if you can place it there and it works as well so i've named then i just want to show you that this works perfectly um, this is the new one so um, it kind of works a little bit worse um, if you compare it to the other one no it works perfectly 4 to 3.59 so it works perfectly you can also put it like this um, i named it g for grid those are all the turbines in this um, in the perfect wind turbine grid um, they are all working perfectly if we compare it to the optimum um, test turbine which is right there right here on top just nothing interfering uh, interfering this here my friends works perfectly so i hope um, that this is helping you with constructing your uh, wind turbine park because you can uh, place five wind turbines perfectly perfectly inter um fearing or not interfering with with each other because they are just perfectly here aligning and um, this is how you can perfectly make your wind park i hope this helped you if it did so again here please leave a thumbs up i i, I just love this emote um and otherwise um if you want to see more of those videos i'm planning to make more space engineer videos if you have any ideas or any questions on this please let me know in the comments below thank you for watching peace out